Atrox's Mare. And uh, I am about 200k XP off of Rev 9. And we got a two perk Atrox, no, um, no half cost perk. We do have Slayer, XP buff, and Pathfinder. And uh, that is very, very nice because with the new RNG meter system, I might actually have a chance of dropping myself Warden Heart. So over the next week, I my goal is to get Rev 9 and drop myself a Warden Heart. I am 100% getting Rev 9 today. I don't know about the Warden Heart, but it is highly likely that I am going to get one of this Aatrox, which is going to be very, very nice because I've got all the materials other than the Warden Heart to craft myself up a little bit of a Warden Helmet. It's going to be pretty cool once I get it and another very expensive item to add to the profile. But anyways, before the video starts... You know, gotta be a good little YouTuber guy. Gotta ask you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you're feeling generous, you can join my Discord server, follow me on Twitch. And I said that backwards. And if you're feeling extremely generous, you can uh, hit the notification bell. Without any further messing up of my intro, uh, let's get straight into it. So with uh, HRX being mayor and all, we're gonna come talk to Maddox. And you know, with me being a Rev fanboy, I am already about 170k XP off of Rev9, which is pretty nice. And also with the new RNG meter, I have selected myself the Warden Heart. Currently 16,000 out of 3.6 mil XP there. I will probably get it sometime this week. But we're going to be starting up a Rev Horde Tier 5. My auto pet is kicking in. And also, I'm going to be having to play um, this with toggle chat. So I won't be able to see any other players' chat and some uh, possibly of the... Other chat thingies that Hypixel sends me, because for some reason, Hypixel for the past two days I've been spamming this message in my chat, and I have no idea why, and I can't fix it. Tried taking everything out of my museum, still did stuff. Oh goodness, it's still going. Well, that's going to be fun, but I don't know. It's not very intrusive, but I don't know what are we gonna do. Hypixel doing Hypixel things, but you know, let's go ahead and get into the bosses. About to spawn the first boss of the day. Just gotta slap this down. And then juju all these boys. And I forgot to F5. But yeah, all we just gotta do is just spin in circles until this guy dies. And oh, I forgot to enable that mod that makes the crosshair appear on the back of my head and makes revs a bit easier. I'll do that, you know, off camera. But basically you just go around in circles, kill this guy, and I don't have the greatest gear ever, so I can't kill them super fast, but it's good enough for my purposes. I grinded all the way to almost Rev 9 with this Livid Dagger, and it'll get me all the way to Rev 9, and it'll also get me a Warden Heart. I am not ready to give it up yet. But 3 Foul Flesh, very nice. Uh, made my money back on that boss. Very, very cool. But that is the first boss of the day, and we're going to keep going until we get Rev 9, a Warden Heart, or both. First somewhat rare drop of the day, a little bit of Revenant Viscera. Not too shabby at all. It's uh, worth around about 50k. Zar's disabled right now, but you know, any money I can make back on these bosses is amazing. Next little rare drop, an undead catalyst. Need absolutely none of these, but something kind of fun I actually figured out is that undead catalyst, stuff like that, they actually all go into the Slayer sack now, which is a very welcome quality of life improvement, in my opinion. It makes everything a whole lot easier, so I don't have to waste a bunch of space in my ender chest or my inventory to carry all that stuff. It's pretty cool, but undead catalyst. Oh man, uh, Another undead catalyst. I mean, I can spend much time talking about it. It's undead. It's an undead catalyst. I don't really need it, but hey, got another one. Oh, first bad drop of the day. It's a pestilence rune, of course. Who wants a pestilence rune? I don't. I don't. I don't think anybody wants a pestilence rune. Who actually uses a pestilence rune? But eh, whatever. Forgot to record it, but I actually surpassed 150,000 XP till Rev Nine. So this should take maybe another 30 minutes on Rev 9, which will be very, very nice. And that'll be my first Slayer actually mask maxed out, and somebody is trying to steal my lobby. Ooh, something a little bit rare, a double drop today. I've got a Pestilence Rune and a Smite 6. That's not too bad. I mean, I'm never going to use either of those, because I've already got Smite 6 on my Reaper Falchion. So, yeah, I don't know. Might as well sell them. But kind of cool to get a double drop every now and then. And another undead catalyst. Why? I, I don't need them. I keep dropping them, but I don't need them. Then again, we do have a Pathfinder perk, so I'm probably going to drop uh, considerably more of these before the week is over. Another Smite 6, second one of the day. Very, very nice. You know, got to sell that bad boy for a thousand coins. going to be 
pretty fun. Got to get that thousand coin gains. Very, very nice. Wow, um, that's kind of impressive. Two double drops today. Pretty, pretty close together. I got Pestilence Rune and some more Foul Flush. Again, nothing particularly rare, but I mean, hey, it's a double drop. Third Smite 6 of the day. That's not too shabby at all. I'm, I'm getting a lot of drops today, probably because of the Pathfinder buff from Aatrox, and also just the new the new um, Slayer RNG meter, which, you know, makes it a little more common to drop stuff because, you know, the more um, revs you grind, the more stuff you get. But yeah, another Smite 6. Oh boy, what did I drop? It's another Undead Catalyst. That is very, very fun. But, you know, I don't need it. So, moving on. The boss is spawning in, and this is going to be the last rev until 100k XP. Or, well, a little bit over it, but, you know... It's whatever, we just gotta spam click until this boy dies. Also, I believe Hypixel finally stopped sending me notifications about my museum having some bugged item in it or something. I don't know. Not really sure what that was about. My museum has changed very little in the past week, and I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but this rev's almost dead, and there we go. No drops, unfortunately, but 98k XP left until rev 9. We're getting really, really close. Oh, well, this is, uh, interesting. First RNG drop of the day, and it's a beheaded whore. Now, thankfully, this didn't reset my RNG meter, because with the new RNG system, it would only reset it if I were actually going for a beheaded whore. But I dropped it without having an RNG meter active for the beheaded whore, so the, like, 100k XP I have towards the Warden Heart is still there, which is... Pretty cool, so now I'm not quite as mad at dropping a beheaded whore. Although I still am going to chuck it off the map out of spite uh, of, you know, never getting a, you know, Warden Heart before this. So, you know, just going to chuck it off, off the map and out of spite because, yes. Because, you know, also, it's very fun. So, beheaded whore, take a look at the edge of the map. Goodbye. Thank you for your service. I will not miss you. So, first uh, Rev Catalyst of the day. I'm surprised I haven't dropped more of those. Normally, I'm dropping like five or six of those in like the first ten minutes, but hey, only one of those today. So, let's just keep on going. We're almost there. This is spawned in, and this is going to be the last boss to 50k XP. I accidentally spawned it in the wrong spot, so it's going to take slightly longer to kill it than normal. But hey, whatever. I mean, it is what it is, and we're also going to have to heal a little bit more since it's going to be able to hit me. A bit more while I'm not hitting it. But, eh, it's whatever. But I'm saying it's whatever a lot. But we're about to kill this man's 3 mil HP left. Hopefully gonna drop me a little bit of a Warden Heart. I'd love to get a Warden Heart before Rev 9. And I didn't drop a Warden Heart. Did get a little bit of Foul Flesh though. But that is 47k XP until, in, until Rev 9. We're getting very, very close. Boy, another undead catalyst. Who would have guessed? Another one, and then another one, and then another one, then another one. It's always undead catalyst. Come on. Just give me a warden heart already. Please, I would really appreciate if this game would actually give me one. This is going to be the last boss until Rev 9. It's going to be pretty, pretty cool once I hit it. I get a very useless pet item, but, you know, Rev 9. And I'll have it, and it'll be a bit of a flex, <laughs> and that's about all it is, because you do get the Reaper Gym at Rev 9, and, uh, yeah, it's a pre pretty darn useless. I'd much rather use a Shelmet or something. And you only get one of them, and you can't sell it, so it'll probably just be collecting dust in a chest somewhere once I get it. But I will have Rev 9, which will be very, very nice, and the Slayer is dead. Unfortunately, no RNG drops. But I disabled Auto Slayer for this last boss so that we can actually go talk to Maddox. And I don't have my AOTE in my inventory at the moment, so we're just going to have to run it. And there's a little Slayer house. Just got to run down to the basement, the dark, creepy basement, with the creepy guy who tells you to kill things. And there we go. Rev 9. Plus 6 health, Reaper Gem, and Rev Minion, Tier 12 with a Bartender. That's about it. I'm now max level for Rev Slayer. And here's the Reaper Gem, gain 8 ferocity for 5 seconds on a kill, and it's a pet item. I thought it was a talisman. That would be a little broken for a talisman, to be honest. But um, for some reason, it's soulbound. No idea why. But 
yeah, that is Rev9. Now, let's see here. Anything else? Oh, yeah. Also, I'm currently 181,000 XP out of the 3.6 mil that I need, which is kind of crazy. I just grinded revs for like an hour, and I only got 181 k 181k xp out of the 3.6 mil that i would need to get a warden heart so i'm thinking next episode i need to invest a little bit in my slayer setup because i'm art i'm rev 9 but i need to invest in say uh an axe of the shredded because i believe with that i should be able to get like four or five second bosses which would be insane and make me able to farm them a whole lot faster but yeah i mean Rev9, there it is. This is going to be the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy it, but let's quickly go over what we got from this. You know, of course, Rev9. And also, we dropped 62 Foul Flesh, 17 Revenant Viscera, 3 Pestilence Runes, some miscellaneous um, catalysts that went into the sack that I'm too lazy to grab out, 3 Smite Sixes, and we also got the Reaper Gem, which is useless. We also got a Beheaded Horror, which I chucked off the map because screw the Beheaded Horror. But yeah, that is the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, if you did, not indeed, if you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I will hopefully see you on the next video, and goodbye.